Hello, good evening. The ones that are here, it's nice to see you once again in this week that we are studying. So we are gonna continue with our topic. I don't know if you have any question regarding to the virtual platform before that we get started today. Is there any question regarding to that? ¿Habría alguna pregunta concerniente a la plataforma virtual que ustedes tengan? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. que yo aún no he comenzado, voy a tratar de comenzar ahora, teacher. Ah, ok, comprendo. Sí, eh, por favor, ¿verdad? Traten de, de avanzar lo más que puedan. Este, pues es bastante necesario que ustedes lo puedan hacer, ¿verdad? Por lo menos para esta semana, eh, lo que se trataría de esta semana, nosotros tenemos que tener avanzado hasta la sesión número 3, ¿verdad? Eh, que es la que vamos a, a comenzar y la que tenemos que finalizar esta semana, que sería el día jueves con el con lo que es el midterm. Entonces, este, ¿verdad? Tenemos que, que avanzar. Bueno, ustedes tienen que avanzar lo más, lo más que puedan, ¿verdad? Ok, teach. Sí. All right. So, is someone that has any question regarding to the virtual platform or something that hasn't been clear enough? You tell me. Just one second. ¿Hay alguna pregunta concerniente a los ejercicios de la plataforma virtual o algo que no haya quedado muy claro? Ustedes me indican. ¿O estamos bien? It's okay. It's okay. All right. So if everything is fine, let's go ahead and continue then. Vamos a continuar entonces. Um, we stop in the indirect questions, right? Last uh, Friday, on Friday time. Okay, here, uh, this is what we have. This is where we stop, if I'm not mistaken. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, 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 no, no. Okay. Yes, all right. So since this one was uh, where we have stopped, right, we were studying the indirect questions, uh, where were the introductory phrases, the ones that we are gonna be using to introduce a, um, well, the indirect question, right? Basically the indirect questions, they are just, a simple question with something else which makes the question formal, right? Or a little bit more polite than just a regular question. So basically here, right, uh, the ones that the, that the virtual platform propose or the ones that the virtual platform give it to you, you have these expressions. Could you tell me and do you know? After these expressions, you are gonna have a WH question, right? So in these ones, um, whenever you have a WH question and you wanna give it just a little bit more polite or you want to ask to the person in a polite way, you can go ahead and use, could you tell me or do you know? As well, the ones that I gave it to you last time, those ones are introductory. Uh, phrases for the indirect questions, you can use them too, right? There is not any problem. You can definitely use them too. There is not any problem. Just uh, be careful whenever you are using them, right? Is there any question regarding to this, to the indirect questions that you might have? No? No, not, not for this moment. Not for this moment. Okay. For this moment. For this moment. All right. No problem. So here, uh, this is what we have, right? Some extra examples. Like, for example, the WH question with the verb B, right? Um, here, what we have, it is where is the nearest ATM? And when we have the W the indirect question, as you might see, the verb goes at the end. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is, right? So then the same one is the one that we have in the next one. It says, where are the restrooms? 
Do you know where the restrooms are? Right. So whenever you have an indirect question with the verb be, the verb be when you convert when you use right the phrase, the introductory phrase, the verb be is gonna go at the end, right? At the end. It's gonna be a little bit different with the WH questions with the auxiliary do or in simple present tense. For example, how often, how often do the buses run? Could you tell me how often the buses run, right? How often the buses run? Then you have a little as well, a little bit of difference with the next one that is what time does the bookstore open? Do you know what time the bookstore opens? Right. So here, as you might able to see in the WH questions with the verb or with the auxiliary do or in simple present tense, the question or the do stops, right? You don't have it anymore. It's like if you are erasing. So you are taking just exactly the verb, you place the WH question and the verb goes at the end plus the, I'm sorry, plus the marker that it will be the question mark as well we have the wh questions with the auxiliary can where can i catch the buses do you know where i can catch the bus for example so as you might able to see basically the question doesn't look like a question in form right but as well in just the pronunciation. Why doesn't looks like a question in form? Because you just simple in the WH questions with the auxiliary, the auxiliary gets erased and you have like a regular statement just with the intonation and as well with the introductory phrase that you have is the way that you are gonna be able to help you too. Is there any questions so far? No, you're fine. Okay, we are fine then. So if we are fine, there is not any problem. So we are going to have a practice, just a simple practice on it. This is a practice, right? This it says write the indirect questions using the WH questions, then compare with a partner. It says take turns asking the questions that you write in the A, right? That is going to be this one, the very first one, and give your own information to answer. What are you going to do? We are going to go in rooms in, in pairs, right? So please take at least five of the questions because they are eight or at least four, right? So write it down into the indirect questions if you have a notebook or if you have any paper or pencil with you and then you are gonna ask the questions to your partner and your partner can answer with their own information, right? For example, uh, how late do the buses run? You can ask the, in this case, how, for example, the, the um, indirect question that is gonna be, could you tell me how late the buses runs, right? So in that one, right, uh, basically uh, you can say, no, I don't take the bus. I had my own car, for example. You can go ahead and give the answer. So we are gonna go in groups. So you just need to rewrite the sentences not all of them, at least just only three of them or four of them is gonna be enough. And then you can practice with your partner asking the questions. And after asking the questions, give the information with your own information, right? So would you like to have the, the picture in the WhatsApp group? Will it be good for you? Yes, please. Yes. All right. So let me go ahead and place it. Just one moment. Um, this doesn't help me a lot in my cell phone. All right. So there we go. 
There you go, and there you have the questions. So let's go into groups. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm gonna place you in groups, right? I think that with me, we are 10, right? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, with me, you are 10, 